Okay, this is a short video on how to use a Mach 3 wizard to create a spline um, cut. I need to do um, a stitch string for one of my pull cues. And so I like to use, this is a real simple wizard, makes it really nice. If you go to wizards in Mach 3 and pick wizard and find cut spline or gear and run that, I have this pretty much already set up the way that I want. Um, I'm cutting 12 splines. They're on a 16th inch, um, the size of the um, bit is, where is it? Tool diameter is 1 16th of an inch, 0 0.0625. Um, my height of start is 0.45 because the diameter is 0.90 on the piece of um, black linen tube that I'm cutting this on. The cut feed rate, it's pretty much up to you. 10 um, inches per minute is fine for me. Uh, the plunge rate is 50. That's just how fast it goes down. No big deal on that. You can go higher if you want. Um, you can certainly run yours at whatever speed you want, but I don't recommend that you go over 10 for, for this thin of a bit and the material that I'm doing. There's just no sense in taking any chances. I'd rather have it take its time. Rapid feed height three tracked is um, 0.1 above the zero plane. The zero plane being at 0.45, the center of this being at zero. The depth of this is, I'm not going a full eighth of an inch deep. I'm going 0.12 and the step down is 0.313, which actually I'm going to change this to 0 0.03. Um, if you're doing 0 0.125, 0 0.0313 would give, end up giving you four steps at an eighth of an inch, but 0 0.03 will be fine and I'll give you four steps. Um, I would just assume you know, not go any deeper than the um, diameter of the bit, but that's certainly up to you. You can post it however you want, but I'm going to save these settings. And it tells you right here, point uh, start position for this diameter is 0.49. Uh, and the spline length, I'm going to do this at a half an inch because I need at least two decent rings. So I'm going to go 0.5 on that. And I'm going to go post G code, save settings, post G code. And once that's done, exit your wizard. That's all there is to the wizard. It'll post the G code. I've already got my um, Z set up at 0.45. I'll show that to you here in just a second. And here's the G code um, all the way down through every step of the way. So let me move the camera and I'll show you the cut. Okay, got this set up. My bit is set up at um, zero plane right here so it's going to cut in a half an inch as we go to this and I hope this thing quits zero focusing it wants to kind of get fuzzy and we'll see how it turns out it. 12 splines on a 0.9 diameter ring. 
Hope you enjoyed that. Now that it's done cutting the splines, um, I have a I had already pre-cut my I had already pre-cut my um, 16th inch thin splices to fit into these. And they're a nice snug fit. So I will cut those to length and then wrap them in, um, use epoxy and glue them into place. And when I get done, we'll end up having a set of rings that look kind of like this. This is for the, between the forearm and the front of the front of the handle and the forearm of the cue. The back rings are bigger. And these are for the joint um, on the shaft and the front of the queue. Thanks again for watching Dark Horse Cues.